Surgery is all done and it's time to wake up your patient. It's also time to take out the breathing tube. How do you know when it's safe? Well, that's where the extubation criteria comes from. The first question you want to ask yourself is, can I take this breathing tube out while they're under deep anesthesia, or do I want to wake them up fully and then take it out? Patients who might benefit from a deep extubation include patients where you want to avoid coughing or bucking, like if they have a neck incision, but you want to make sure that these patients have an easy airway and easy intubation, just in case you have to reintubate them. You also want to make sure that they don't have an increased risk for aspiration, that there's no neuromuscular blockade still on board, and that they're normothermic and have normal vital signs. Alternatively, the patients where you might want to avoid a deep extubation include patients that had a difficult airway, difficult to intubate, patients who still have residual neuromuscular blockade on board, patients who have COPD who required high levels of positive pressure in order to ventilate them, and patients who have a full stomach who would be an aspiration risk after taking out that breathing tube. If you decide to fully wake up your patient prior to taking out the breathing tube, you want to make sure that your anesthetic is all the way turned off and that any IV anesthetic has been turned off as well. You also want to make sure you've reversed any neuromuscular blockade or allowed it to fade off completely. You also want to make sure the patient is breathing spontaneously and they're following commands and they're awake enough to either open their eyes or squeeze your hand. It's also beneficial to do a gentle suction of the airway prior to extubating them so that they don't have any residual secretions that drip into the back of their throat. Lastly, nobody wants to keep a patient intubated, especially after an elective procedure, but it might be the safest thing for them in the long run. This revolves around hemodynamics, respiratory compliance, and the ability to maintain their airway.